steampunk priestess number seven. Okay. This is only seeing the step in front of you. Not being able to see the whole picture because you see how it's all black around her. She can't see anything else except what she can through the lenses on, the, on those glasses she's wearing. Special, obviously, because them some heavy-duty glasses. <laughs> so she, only being able... This is, this is about trust. Only being able to see the one step in front of you and not an inch further. Okay. Let's see. What else? Is going with is complimenting the steampunk priestess energy. A time for healing. Let's see. Okay, that one again. Okay. This does feel like, not necessarily a state of pause, but reflection. It, it seems critical before whatever is, is meant to happen next can actually take place. There's a certain level of healing that needs to be met or needs to be accomplished before taking the next step forward. Let's see. What is going on for Sag? <sighs> yep, nine of swords. Nine of wands. Ten of cups. Yeesh, I already know where this is going. Nine of cups. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Hanged Man, Yee, okay, okay, so, <sighs> Sleepless Nights much? So this, this doesn't feel like fun. What I'm seeing here, then I'm seeing this is you, Sag. I'm seeing this is your person, and this is the situation. The energies can always be flipped. You know your situation better than I do. I am reading for a uh, general audience, okay? So the situation at hand is this is anxiety. This is sleepless nights about a connection. There is... It's like you ran from your Ten of Cups, basically. Just really guarded, just guarded against it. This is, of course, something you, that keeps you up at night now. This person was it for you. And the other person looks like they tried to make this happen and kind of got stonewalled what happened let's expand on this nine of swords please because this this feels this feels like like a really sad miss opportunity yeah devil wanted to fly out three of three of cups the full devil okay okay Someone was scared as to do anything about this. Nine of swords. Two of wands. They wanted partnership with you. Okay, let's expand on the nine of swords, please. Hermit. Magician. Five of cups. Justice. Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. <sighs> yeah, this feels this feels rough. Um, this yeah. Let me put that down for a second. <laughs> so, <sighs> the 
there's a, the, fra the phrase lost forever came up like that you, that you the, the person that is this side I'm just gonna say it's you Sag it could be flipped that this person feels like this connection is lost forever because this person ran from their ten of cups And in this anxiety, in this sleepless nights, in this overthinking, there are there are discoveries made that unearth more more remorse about a situation, about not sharing secret thoughts, and taking too long to bring something to make something happen. One more on the magician, please. Wanting to apologize. Give a gift. It's a new beginning, but I'm getting a gift, too. You're going to have to travel to see this person. Chariot, Eight of Cups. They're, you're going to you're gonna have to travel. They're going to they're gonna block you at first. Okay. All right. Let's, let's dive into this. And, okay, this is the reason for the steampunk priestess. Matches up with the nine of swords. So, you're freaking out, whoever this person is, is freaking out because um, you only can see the one step in front of you. You can't see the whole bigger picture, so you don't know if this is going to work or not. So, you're afraid to even get started. Hence why it's slow as possible. Let's expand on the nine of wands, please. Moon, King of Cups, you love this person, very deep feelings for them, but you ran away. Alright, Nine of Cups, <laughs> let's, let's just keep going, Nine of Cups, Six of Swords, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, Tower, King of Swords. So there is two people. There was... It's kind of like you just thought you were just insanely attracted to this person and that's it. So there was no reason to break up the thing with the water sign that you're already in. Now we have King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Because it's, like, it's almost like, with this Nine of Cups energy, it's almost like you feel like you won. Like you won against temptation. This, this, wasn't, this Queen of Wands wasn't temptation, she was your person. And, ah, uh, okay. You made the decision based out of your head instead of your heart. Because of that, you weren't you weren't unearthing the deep feelings you actually have for this person. You didn't choose from there. You chose from logic. Well, I'm already in this situation. It doesn't matter. I th and trying to reason, be like, oh, I'm just really attracted to them because they are attractive and that's it. When the truth is, there is very deep emotions here. Queen of Swords. Please expand on the Queen of Swords. Oh, seven of Cups. Death, six of wands, ten of pentacles on the bottom. <sighs> You're going to offer this person. The, okay. You're going to offer this person the things, but they want the truth that broke their heart. Okay. And here you are making the choice to resurrect this thing. Could be dealing with Scorpio because you've got death in the tower here. Very Scorpio energy. <sighs> Confidently moving forward. Let's, let's see what she does with that. And I say she because she's showing up as the Queen of Wands. So. Let's clarify her side.
Let's expand on the Ten of Cups, please. And actually, if you have Scorpio in your chart, or your person does, this 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 is feels like it's running parallel to the Scorpio reading. You may want to check that out. Okay. Ten of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Five of Pentacles. She left. She left. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Three of Wands. She wasn't getting what she needed. She needed commitment. She wasn't getting it. She was out. She bounced. Two of Pentacles. And she left because nothing was changing no matter what she did. Hangman. Four of Wands. Four Pentacles. Good for her. Hermit again. Okay, Virgo energy. More Virgo energy. So, because... She, oh, I love this. I love when this happens. So, because she is now extremely clear on what it is she desires when it comes to commitment, she is not letting anyone pry it what she wants from her cold dead fingers. Okay? She is unmoving in what it is she knows will make her happy. She has discovered her truth. And now she's done, 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 done. So what happened after this five of pentacles with her? What happened with this five of pentacles with her? Eight of swords, queen of cups, nine of swords, seven of pentacles, six of wands, ten of wands. Good of her, her, yes, six of swords. Three of cups. There's, there's a third party wound here that is now healed. First awesome thing. Second awesome thing. <sighs> she has beat herself up about this situation for staying as long as she did. The past really upsets her. But she final, she finally beat it. She finally beat it. She finally beat it and put it down. Alright. So this whole thing is a time for healing for her and for you, it looks like. And you're stuck in the anxiety of, should I do something, should I not, because you could only see the one step in front of you, which tells me that she has gone somewhere else. She is out of your life. You don't know what she's up to. You could try to be stalking her online, but you're only going to see so much of her life there, you know, unless she posts something every five minutes. So, she is off in her life elsewhere, healing her damn self. <laughs> and because she's doing her own thing and taking initiative, becoming very clear on what it is that she wants, you can't see anything else. You could only see the next step in front of you. The next step in front of you is to take action. It is to take action. It is 